have a great opportunity to go play a very good team at Colorado School of Mines up there, national TV on Thursday. I mean, it just gets the competitive juices going. And, and I, I'm, I, I know we're bringing 60 guys up there ready to go play. They're a top RMAC opponent, and uh, you know, everybody in the program knows that. And we drew them first game, so it's even more exciting. And uh, you know, get them Thursday night, you know, to kick off college football, basically, and, and on ESPN. You know, it just brings that much more excitement to the game, and um, then we get that much more, you know, hype for the game. You know, we just all have to work as a unit. It doesn't matter what age you are, as long as you know your job, know your fundamentals, then we're going to be successful. Greg's got his own style, and he um, has done a great job of building this program. It's, it's his way. Yeah, I, I think he's got a, a, a way about him that um, his teams will play very hard, and they're going to be sound. And, they're, they're, they're looking forward to playing this game. You know, we just have, you know, great camaraderie with the, with the defensive backs and a great coach, Coach Leo, that gets us where we need to be lined up wise. And um, you know, it's going to be a good season for us. Knowing that every week that team that you're playing this week is going to work that extra 15 minutes after practice for drills or those coaches spending a couple extra hours during that week in order to figure us out. You know, it just, it makes the games that Saturday, and in this case, this Thursday, that much more exciting. We got some different things to try to disrupt their timing. They got different timing routes, and and so if we, we can make them hold it or uh, for a little bit longer and disrupt the timing, um, our game plan will be successful. The times that he does get out the pocket and maybe scramble, you know, just find the nearest guy, stick to him, and then let our, let our big guys chase him down. No matter who the quarterback is, we're always going to have their back. You know, we're going to put our bodies on the line. Uh, we're going to be on top of our assignments in order to give AJ and Rex enough time to throw that ball. The only pull that really matters to us is at the end of the year. And um, that's all we're focused on. And that's the only thing that we really have control over. We don't have control over it any other time. But we have control of how it ends up at the end of the year. And so that's, that's the one that means something to us. This is definitely one of the more uh, more fun, more competitive camps I've had in my what, five years here. Um, great competition throughout all the positions. Uh, uh, great camaraderie with all the teammates. It's been a really fun camp, by far the best one that I've been a part of. Uh, most competitive, definitely uh, everyone just came with a certain physicality of just being ready to start off this season and show everyone what we're about. These guys have been in the program. They understand what these big games are like. And I think we're, we, we enjoy playing these games. We enjoy having the, the bullseye on our back. We enjoy embracing all those things. You know, the excitement level is just ridiculous right now around the back house and around the city. And uh, we can't wait to put on uh, hopefully a good show Thursday night. Uh, watching all of us go from being freshmen to where we are now and uh, being, you know, the leaders of the offense and some of the leaders of the team. Uh, it's, just, it's just been a really awesome experience. I'm anxious to see us come together and play someone else is where we're at at this time. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to our growth as a team. It's always good to get a good hit in. I mean, I haven't hit that, uh, you know, really late into anybody during camp, you know, it's my own teammate. That's why it's another thing, it's we're ready to play somebody else. You know, we actually started like hitting, hitting people. And, um, you know, if there's a, hopefully I get a chance or two on Thursday. Let them think it. If uh, they think that they have a chance, then they think that they have a chance. You know, we, knew, we know who we are, and uh, every Saturday they'll figure out who we are too. And part of our mantra here is, you know, tradition never graduates. And so now these kids are prepared. They've been in this, this climate and this culture that we develop, and now it's their, their time to show for 2016. We're just ready to get this first game rolling. I mean, we're kind of tired of playing each other, hitting each other, you know. It's about that time to, you know, start, you know, smacking pads with different people, you know, getting that competitive juices flowing. And uh, that'll come Thursday night at 7, so we're excited. We're just going to call ourselves brothers. We're just going to, we're just going to go in and put our heads down, and whoever's in front of us, they're going to have a rough time.